1.4. And the question starts with Moya Moya is a disorder caused by a dominant allele. And straight away, you start panicking because you think, I have never heard of this in my life before. It doesn't matter. If you've never heard of it in your life before, you are then very sure that your examiner is ask you to, asking you to go about applying what you do know to a new situation. So let's read further and become a little bit more confident because we don't know anything about Moya Moya, but we know it's a genetic disorder. And you've learned about genetic disorders. This one is caused by a dominant allele, R. So you're going to have this disorder, Moya Moya, if you have one dominant allele or two dominant alleles one dominant allele and one recessive allele is still going to give you moya moya. The only way you're going to get away from it is you've got two recessive alleles. And what does this disorder do? It damages the arteries supplying blood to the brain. So it sounds like it is a really uh, important disorder that is going to bring about a death of an organism, so we would say that this is now a lethal mutation. In this explanation, do we see anything about sex linkage? Right. Did it mention that it's a sex-linked disorder? No. Did it say anything about us writing the X chromosome with the R as a superscript? No, we didn't. So we know that we're not dealing with a sex-linked disorder. We are dealing with um, an autosomal disorder. In other words, the disorder or the mutation is going to occur anywhere on our 22 autosomes that we've inherited from our father and 22 from the mother. The pedigree diagram below shows how Moya Moya was inherited in a family. And there we see our pedigree diagram. And certain things are always standard in a pedigree diagram. Squares are male, circles are female, and shading in the square means that that male is affected or has that characteristic. Likewise for a shaded in female. Those are things you have to know. The first question says, how many generations are represented in the diagram? To work out generations, we go for horizontal rows. That will tell us generations. So we've got that, that, and this. We could say we've got grandparents, parents, and offspring. But that gives us how many generations? Three. Give the letter or letters of unaffected males. We go up here and we see that male's affected, that male is affected, that one is affected. Ah, here we come to an unaffected male. And the letter there is H. Give the genotype of individual A. Let's go up to individual A. Here is individual A. And individual A has the condition. But remember, it's a dominant allele. B doesn't have the condition at all. So it's a recessive alleles. Both are recessive. So what we have to know now, if A was capital R, capital R, that means that all the offspring would have Moya Moya. But here we have a female that doesn't have Moya Moya. So we know that the one parent is not homozygous 
they must be heterozygous because this offspring inherited one recessive allele and one recessive allele. So we know that our genotype is RR. Give the letters of not biologically or <laughs> not biologically related individuals to A and B. So here's A and B and they have children D and E. D has a child with C and they, that child is G which is the grandchild of these two. So it is related. So, so far we have C and here is A and B's son who produced a child with F and there's all of their grandchildren from that son. So we've got C and F who are introduced into this family and they are totally unrelated.